Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christian Martinez, and this is a Tuesday story time. Today's story will be reading Snow by Joanne Clark. One morning, Sammy got out of bed and saw thick snow falling. The snow covered the trees and grass. It blew against windows and doors. It snowed through breakfast, lunch, and supper. It snowed through playtime and read time. It snowed through bedtime, sleep time, and dream time. The snow was falling when Sammy awoke next morning and kept on falling until it snowed a week. It didn't stop but it kept on falling until it had snowed a month. One morning, Sammy looked through a peephole in the window and saw the snow had stopped. The whole world was completely covered in snow. Trees and houses disappeared. Shovelers and plows appeared. The shovelers made tiny paths through the snow. The plows pushed the snow into peaks and cliffs. Sammy put on his jacket and boots, went outside and climbed on the highest mountain, which happened to be the roof of his house. When he reached the top, he looked down. Around him were other mountains, smoke curling skyward from a few. Sammy imagined what was beneath the snow. He imagined a huge black bear and her cubs inside a snow cave, whales and seals swimming in Arctic pools. He imagined a woolly mammoth and a ship locked on ice. He imagined people in parkas building igloos. Santa in his workshop making toys. Dwarves and elves mining rubies and emeralds. Moles drinking ice cream sodas and iced tea. Every morning, Sammy trudged up the mountain and imagined what was beneath the snow. Every morning, the sun poured down its warmth and melted the snow. Trickles and st streams ran down the mountainside. The mountain had became smaller and smaller. Peaks and cliffs disappeared. Rooftops and trees appeared. Until one day, Sammy stood in the warm sun sunshine on an island of snow surrounded by puddles of water and slush. His mother opened the window and said, What are you doing out there, Sammy? Sammy smiled at her dreamingly and said, Imagining grass. That is the end of today's Tuesday story time of the book Snow. If you like this book, you can call or check it out from Wallace Branch Library. Now, if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to make a little Christmas craft. I'll show you how to go ahead and put together a Christmas wreath to hang on your Christmas tree. All right, so in order to make a Christmas wreath, you'll just need a few simple things, actually. First, you'll go ahead and need your cut out of a wreath. Then you'll need your little ribbon. So what I do is go ahead and get some glue. Okay. And go ahead and apply it on this part, the bottom part of the wreath. And just go ahead and apply a ribbon on there. On like that. And there you have it. You have your own very own Christmas wreath. Now, if you like to go a step further, further, you just Now you got your very own Christmas ornament. There you go. There you have your very own Christmas tree. If you enjoyed this story time, enjoyed this crowd, why don't you call, call it Wild Branch Library? We can go ahead and check you out the book, or we're going to leave the craft to go. Thank you. Have a nice day.